Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial video highlighting how to set up your device for iPad, uh, iPhone, or computer iCloud sharing. Just to give you a little background on the program, we are sending out install photos, thousands of them, that will highlight specific areas of installation, different colors, different syncs, different backsplash options, all intended to assist you when you're in a showroom, at a home show, or in a customer's home. Um, it, it's meant to help them visualize our process and, and what it looks like and different design concepts uh, to help them narrow down what they'd like us to do and, and understand the scope of work they'd like us to perform. So uh, with that being said, you know, we, I'm going to walk you through the basic steps of setting up the correct settings on your device, and then I'll do a simulated joining of one of the albums so you can kind of get a taste of what the whole process looks like. So here on the screen, you see this is my iPad screen, but it's going to look similar on any device. You want to start out first and foremost by going to your settings and making sure that your email is set up is huge here. So just in case you haven't set up your email to your device, you can do that in the new operating system under accounts and passwords. So if I were to click add account and I were to select my email provider, I could simply put in my email address, my password, and then it will sync that email account to your device. And the reason that's important is I will send you invites to each one of these albums. You'll have about 25 or 30 in all that you'll need to subscribe to and it gets sent via email. So if there's no email accessible to your device, you're gonna have a hard time getting these photos. While we're in settings, you also want to go down to the Photos section and make sure the iCloud Photo Sharing is enabled. So you can see it's already enabled on my device. It's there below the My Photo Stream and above Summarize Photos. But you want to make sure that that iCloud Photo Sharing is enabled because, again, that's what allows you to accept the invitations that I'm going to be sending out. Next, you want to go to your email that is now activated on your device and you'll see something that looks like this subscribe to Matthew D Gooch's test folder so you you can see this little button at the bottom that that says subscribe with the green check mark you'll want to click that and it'll automatically take you to the photos app now as you can see here we got the test folder already and it's downloading the photos or downloaded the photos and it'll automatically download tons of install photos just like these that you're seeing here now, a quick note to, to let you know about, I use an iPad. Um, there are others that have used this program with iPhones, and some prefer using iPhones because their iPhones will always have a cellular connection, and these photos will download nice and crisp, like you're seeing right here, and really easy for you to zoom in and show a customer what it looks like you know, to do a certain type of install. Now, if you use an iPad, let's see if we can find a photo that will verify my point here. Okay, perfect. So this one, look at the, you see the bottom right hand corner, that was kind of quick. It, it was, there was a white circle. The white circle just indicates that it still needs to download some of the information. Here we go. Bottom right hand corner, you see the circle and you see it got clear. Well, if I'm connected to Wi-Fi, that's no issue. But if you're in a customer's house and you haven't connected to Wi-Fi, you'll get a good picture, but it's not going to be extremely crisp and clear that you can zoom in and and really get the full feel of, of what you're trying to show here. So again, some prefer using a, a laptop or an iPhone, something that they, they find more reliable than an iPad. I never personally had an issue with an iPad, um, but again, I always paired it to my phone or you know I would pair it to their the, the person's Wi-Fi, the house that I was in. So it is definitely something that y you can use uh, but you don't want to show something too blurry, you know, like this one here. Again, it's got a download from the Wi-Fi. So you see that can be a little bit cumbersome, I guess, uh, which would be a reason to maybe use this on an iPhone or just make sure your iPad is always connected to Wi-Fi of some sort so you can fully utilize this program. Now, in here you're going to notice I've got tons of competition pictures. This isn't meant to drag our competition through the mud, just simply highlight the differences between our products and other options that are out there for installation. You can see a lot of cracked stone products, you know, little cracks here and there, um, stains on, on granite, and it's got quartz pictures in here where it's chipped out. 
So I, I feel like it's, it is beneficial to show, you know, why we do things the way we do, why our option might be a better fit for the customer. As you can see here, it's some pretty crazy ones. So that said, again, you can utilize this however you feel it's appropriate. Again, feel free to delete photos that you don't want to use. It's not going to impact the rest of the group. Uh, I do feel like it's uh, good to have good and bad pictures in there so you can help guide your customer through their decision on a color. If, for instance, they're down to a few options, the, these could be the difference in, in getting the customer to feel comfortable with the color and moving forward or being unsure and not being able to move forward. So, again, I feel like this is a, a, a good option to use. Uh, for you know showing photos and install photos and I would welcome anybody that has good photos to send them to me at m gooch g is in good o o c h at trend groupcom if you'd like me to add photos to these albums so if you see that you've got some nice photos that you'd like to use and add and contribute to the group again you can email those to m Gooch, G is in good, O O C H, at trend group.com. And I'll happily put these, uh, these photos that you have in these folders. So, without further ado, I appreciate your time and please contact me if you have any further questions. Thank you.